guys, me again. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to talk about relationships and the good old internet and social media. Almost everyone I know has social media accounts and of course the internet. I mean, these days we need it, right? In this day and age with so many different social media sites, everyone can post pretty much anything they want, which in some cases is kind of scary. We get so enveloped with what everyone else is doing we forget what we have right next to us, our partner and our family. We may fall into a rut and begin to spend more time on social media than we do with our partners. We can be seduced by photos which might not even be the real person. You know, that just happened to a friend of mine recently only to find out after becoming emotionally involved with that person, turns out that person was a fake and got removed from that site, leaving my friend broken hearted. We perhaps start chatting with people we don't even know, telling them our life stories, etc. When the person we should be talking to is our partner. Our relationships should be built on trust, not wondering every minute what our partner is doing on social media, who they're talking to, what pictures they're liking. I mean, what kind of a relationship is that? That only leads to mistrust perhaps jealousy, insecurity, or maybe a feeling that these sites are more important than our partner or our family. My husband and I go out to dinner at least once a week and I can't tell you what I've seen. Last week at the booth across from us was a young couple and I mean young, like in their 20s with their five-year-old daughter in between them. Both parents were on their cell phones almost the entire time ignoring each other, and worse yet, their daughter. Another night when we were out to dinner, yes, like I said, we go out to dinner at least once a week. It's our date night. You should do that too. Okay, so I was looking around the restaurant while we were waiting for our food, and I was shocked. Almost every person in that restaurant was on their cell phones. One family, three kids, all on their cell phones. Why? I wish I could have taken a picture and posted it here, but I'm sure you've all seen it too. I don't understand. Okay, a father and son were at another table and they never even talked to each other. Okay, perhaps it's none of my business, but I love my family and I want to spend quality time with them. The social media sites can wait at least two hours, don't you think? When your partner spends more time on their phone, you begin to wonder, what are they doing? Who are they texting? Your mind starts to go crazy and you begin to lose trust. Seems like no one actually talks anymore. Okay, well, I've been known to be lazy at times when I've texted my son to come down for dinner. But see, sometimes I just don't feel like walking up 18 stairs. But that, that's not actually the same thing, at least I don't think so. We're too busy looking at our cell phones, computers, tablets. It's amazing. We don't even see our partners anymore because we're too busy on these devices. Why? You need to keep each other company, not your devices. But seriously, with all these social media sites, yes, I'm honest, I belong to most of them, but we do need to take a break once in a while. Some of my friends post all day long. Don't they have anything better to do? Like spend actual time with their family or partner? So if you find yourself in this type of situation, here's what I want you to do. Make a date night or a family picnic. It doesn't matter what it is. Just leave your devices alone. Don't text your partner. Talk to them and try to spend some quality time with them. Okay, enough for my lecture. Well, gang, hope I've helped a little. So until next time, go kiss your partner and or your family members and tell them you love them. You'll be amazed what that little change can do for your relationships. See you next time.